What is up, guys? Mickle here, and today we're kind of getting into our finale here in the short term on Astro Stock. It seems like they probably won't have a launch for a little bit after they failed twice this weekend to get their rocket in the air. I made two videos uh, a couple days ago, essentially pointing some pretty hard evidence on why I didn't think they'd be able to get their rocket up, but also why I think no matter what the company really is, not does not have a very good business model. Um, I'm going to call out Dead Inside one last time. I, I think this is a really bad investment he's in right now. I think he's way overexposed to it. But if you guys are invested in Astro Stock, make sure you stick around to the end because I think it's important that you guys watch this because at a certain point, you just kind of got to face the facts and just learn from your mistakes because I think there's a lot of clear signs why this company uh, really isn't looking very good for the future. I'm not saying they won't succeed. I just think it's a bad bet to be making right now. If you guys if you guys are looking for better stocks, make sure you check out my channel. I call out a much easier investments to make money on than Astra that have real fundamental value that are being extremely widely adopted in the real world. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like it down below, comment what you think, and subscribe to the channel. But anyway, guys, let's jump right into it because this is going to be the last video I do on Astra in a while. I just kind of wanted to finish off a little series. If you guys didn't watch the rocket launch, here it is. That's not good. I, <laughs> you can tell instantly it's not going well. This is my favorite part here. How did it even get all the way over there? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I love how he's even lying. Like, how did it get over there it, without ripping through the woods? Wait, I love this part. Listen. Was that intentional? He goes, is that intentional? And he, later on, he actually rewinds it and tries to see if it actually was intentional. Like, come on, dude. I think we all knew that was a complete disaster. So anyway, let, let's let's not torment the guy any longer. That, that was awful. That, that didn't even look like he was ever going to come close to launching. Uh, here's another view of it. Uh, apparently, it only got 30 miles in the air. Uh, it just it looked like a busted launch uh, from almost every perspective. The stock got destroyed like I said it would. Um, it, it's really not looking good for this stock. I mean, they're not going to have any news coming out until they're able to launch again. At this point, I think it's less certain that they complete a launch than do. I, I'm, I'm scared the next poor thing from the stock is going to be um, their timelines getting pushed back like I addressed in my other videos. I, I, I don't see any good news coming anytime soon. I would have gotten out of this stock a while ago. Um, if you're still in it, you got to be ready to sit on your hands for a while, wait for this to create a big rounded bottom down below, or sell now and just never go back i mean it's up to you i wouldn't buy this i would not be averaging in as this drops because i think this could drop a long ways and do nothing for a long time if you're a bull on this stock you may not agree with me but just consider what i'm saying because anything's possible and right now that seems like the most probable thing to me um I did find this other guy. Uh, I, I hope uh, I commented on his video. I hope he reaches out to me. Launch window research. Um, he put out this great stat, and I actually addressed this in my video before I even saw this. So I thought it was pretty cool. We actually made a ton of the same points. So I'm not crazy, guys. I think dead inside is crazy. Um, yeah, he's just pointing out that the whole business model seems bizarre. Anyway, like. If you want to get things to space, you're going to launch a million little rockets, and they're not even reusable. They're made out of aluminum, so they burn up coming back into the atmosphere. I mean, it seems like even if they are ever successful, it seems like SpaceX is going to eat their launch. And I did point out how crowded the competition was. They're, like, making up some segment for, like, 100-pound satellites and, like... I don't know, guys. Does doesn't seem too probable. Um, I actually... Later on, I do want to get into some new information, so I, I do want to show you kind of like something else I found, and it, it gets worse and worse the more I look at this company. Um, I didn't know this. This was actually their sixth rocket attempt that failed, and 
that's bad because Rocket Labs, Virgin Orbit, SpaceX. I mean, SpaceX was freaking landing rockets, and they had more six more only failed three times. Astros failed six times, and they're just trying to get their rocket in the air. So, like, while we're all while dead inside, sitting here watching this video of his apparently great investment that can't even get in the air, SpaceX is literally launching the landing the rockets back into orbit and reusing them. Um, yeah, it just seems like the tech's not even there. It's like a bad business plan with bad tech. I don't, I don't understand what's so attractive about the company. To be honest, I, I, I'm blown away that there's the amount of uh, hype around this stock that there is. I mean, it's like, jeez, like I, I, I type in Circle Stock on YouTube and I can't even find a freaking video, and they're literally becoming the first nationally tar chartered digital bank. I mean. This company is one of 10 rocket companies and can't even launch a rocket. Like, what is this? Um, oh, what, what I did want to point out is they've had six rockets fail. Rocket Labs is the most um, out of all the companies in their competition with the most failures, which is three. And it took Rocket Labs 11 years to get a rocket into orbit. Astra has failed more than them, and they're only on their fourth year. How long is it going to take Astro to get this right? I mean, it took SpaceX, SpaceX six years and four months. Are they going to beat SpaceX? I, I don't see it. Like, maybe even if they come close, and I called this out last time, it's still going to crush these estimates. These estimates are so unrealistic now that we kind of see what's going on with this company. They're, they're launching payloads right now. That's not revenue. This, I can't see how they're going to get three launches in at, at this rate. Then the, this, they're not, like, it just, it's not realistic at all at this point. And the more and more they fail, these numbers are going to get really bad. And they only have $5 million worth, worth of cash left. I pointed out in one of my, I mean, I'm sorry, $500 million. They burned something like $30 million last quarter. The more launches they fail, the more and more money they're going to burn through. And they're going to end up diluting shareholders, which is going to make the people who are actually still bag-holding this stock simply get diluted into oblivion because it's going to be the only way this company can make money. There's no other uh, business model there. They're either launching rockets and getting revenue, or they're crashing and they're diluting their shareholders. Um, the one last thing I saw, which was like insane... Look at their plans for 2021. They want to have <laughs> monthly launches. It's like, you haven't even done one. What makes you think they're going to be monthly? Um, a redesign of the rocket to carry 10 times as much weight into orbit. I mean, don't you want to What do you, maybe scrap the whole original thing? Is that what this is getting at? Um, I mean, develop its own launch site. I mean, I, I don't know how... That doesn't seem that hard to me. Maybe that's a good idea. Build his own spacecraft. Dude, like... Well, I did get into their investor presentation the other day, and I said that there was some weird stuff. Like, these slides right here. Like, what are these? Like, it seems like this company is really hype-based and really just look to attract retail investors. And then you look, and they don't even, like, list stats about their own rocket. Like... Guys, before I, like, start, steam starts coming out of my ear about this company right now, just because, like, I do feel really bad for the people who were, like, lured into this and, like, bought, like, maybe here and now we're down 50%. I mean, look, it, 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 I, it, I don't see it coming back. I, I could always be wrong. I'm, I can't predict the future. I'm telling you guys what I see. Um, it looks really bad. Uh, I, don't, I don't like anything about this company. I don't like their business plan. I don't like their tech. I don't like how they communicate to their investors. It seems like a lot of fluff to me, or a lot of hype. And that's really why I wanted to put this out here. Um, I think it's going to be curious to see what Dead Size says. Guys, if he starts buying more of this stock, like says he bought more today, all I'm saying is it might be best to sit on your hands and watch this create like a flat bottom because if I just show you something like, and this is going to seem unrelated, but this is what I would look for in the chart. And, oh my god, this is horrible. 
Uh, let's go to coin market cap real quick. And if you guys are wondering why I look at Bit I'm showing you Bitcoin right now, it, it, it just has to do with a cycle, in which you can see in all markets. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see how Bitcoin created this super long, rounded bottom that essentially was just years of the tech developing. This could easily happen um, with, with Astro stock. And what I want to do is just present the idea that this SPAC merge might have been the hype cycle of what Astra is for now. I mean, they're going to take, we're looking at similar scenarios where it took the companies two years to get going. This stock is not going to stay here for two years. It's it has to, it's going to create a long rounded bottom, and if they're still in business by the end of it, and they do start rolling out these launches, then we'll probably get an explosion upwards. But for me, it's too soon, too unproven, and seems like a lot of failure by management overall. If you guys like this video and you appreciate me being realistic with you, make sure you check out my other videos. I, I really do point out some companies and you're going to see the difference with some of the companies I call out on my channel and like Oscar stock. And if you guys are due to investing, I think it's going to make you feel a lot better when you look at some of my videos and say, look, I'll t I want to show you guys how to see actual value in companies and not just like this hype-based gambling kind of guessing uh, kind of investing. Anyway, guys, it, that was more of a rant. Uh, it's kind of hard not to at this point. Uh, if you guys want to see more, make sure you subscribe. But for now, Mickle out.